Yeah, it looks like Zhao is done. Up, Whitey Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 647. So, last chapter we saw a total hostile takeover of Zhao by um, the prince's younger brother, or more so by uh, Kakukai than anything else. Let's be real. Kakukai is running the show over in Zhao. And um, the good news is we got Ka to a safe place. We did. And something that I thought was interesting um, that Hara used was the symbolism of the candle with the flame. The fl and the candle is get and you saw how um, small the candle was and the and the flame and I think either the candle with the flame is, um, is either representing Roboku's life or it's representing um, how much time Zhao has it's one or the two but anyway. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. There's Kang crying. And chapter 647 is titled, um, Activity at Kanon. Crap! 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 That was the first time I've seen Revoka Sama so depressed. It was too much to bear and my mind ended up going blank. But then... But then I gave him that really weird hug. I will always stand by you. I mean, as a worried vassal, that wasn't too uh, too weird a thing to do, right? Who am I kidding? If it were Fute doing it, I'd um, just be plain disturbing. Dude, if it were Fute, anyone doing that to Fute, it would be just plain disturbing. <laughs> it feels like I've crossed uh, some line that was never meant to cross. No. Wait, no. I'm so dumb. I should just be glad Robokusama seemed to recover somewhat. Look at that candle. Look how small it's gotten. I'm telling you, it's either Roboku's life or it's the amount of time that Zhao has before it's before it's done. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, pardon me, sir. I'll excuse myself for real this time. Kane. It is I who was sorry, and thank you. He thanked me, right? He's not thanking me for that real uh, for that hug, right? He um, you're so dumb. He's thanking me for what I said earlier. Why did I say all that anyway? Although, um, going by his voice, it sounded like he cheered up a little. Um, uh. Am I just imagining things? I wanted to stay there a bit longer, actually. Why the heck did I jump out uh, like that? Um, I want to say this before I continue. I think why Roboku said that is because Roboku needed that support. He did. He felt The thing is, is Roboku felt alone. And when you feel alone like that, that's why you get depressed. And when you have someone there for you saying that it's going to be okay, and you have that support like Cain was giving to Roboku, and especially from someone you care about, and in this case, you know, whether it's a friend or, you know, someone that you love, well, love as a friend or more or tell, just family, um, then it really helps. But... In the case of Roboku and Kane, I don't know if Roboku sees her as um, just a friend, a sister, or something more. Don't know about that, but you get my point. He just It just that support from her really, really helped. It, just knowing that, um, it just he or not knowing, worrying, so shit. Just hearing that it's going to be okay, even though it might not be okay, obviously by, you know, the symbolism of that candle, candle there, seeing that candle, we know it's not going to be okay. But just hearing that from so, from someone he cares about just made it made him feel better. That's all. Just that reassurance helps. Uh, Kane, just you okay, Kane? Shut up. Uh, huh? Leave me alone. I'm such a coward. Shit. What are you talking about? 
looks like Kane still got some pep in her after all. <laughs> they know. Everyone's just like, I think, everyone, I think they know. <laughs> they all know something's up. They all know something happened. Um, I think the, uh, like, Fruta is like the only one just like, what the fuck happened? Shitsuji and Banaji's like, yeah, something definitely happened. <laughs> Shitsuji's like, or not Shitsuji, I'm sorry. Fute's like, what, did I miss something here? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so funny. Okay, let's get back, back to this. Banaji, uh, Shitsuji, Fute, I'm glad to see you all in one piece. See, look at, look at, uh, look at Fute, he's like, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> see, Minaji's like, see, I fucking knew something happened, and, and I think Shitsuji's like, yep, something, Shitsuji's like, yeah, I knew something happened. <laughs> and it looks like you haven't lost your spirit either. I heard you had lost your nerve, but it seems they were mistaken, see? I told you, that reassurance, man, it, it makes it. That it really helps you. It makes you get that weight off your shoulders. Just hearing that it's going to be okay from somebody, some, from somebody you care about, whether it's a friend, someone you consider family, or family in general, someone you love. Uh, more than that, a significant other, if you will. It, it helps. For food, uh, just empty bravado. I'm afraid that's fine with me, but. <laughs> Why are you standing so far away? Oh! <laughs> Fute is calling them. Fute called her out. Um, then what are our plans from uh, from now on? We've uh, disobeyed the king's decree, clashed with the capital troops, and even helped smuggle Kazama out of the city. I'd say that um, more than ticks all the boxes that would allow them to label us, to label us as re uh, rebelling against the throne. Now we're rebels? You didn't figure that out already, Kate? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously? Um, maybe, I think maybe Kane was just, like, blinded by the adrenaline or something. Maybe, I don't know. But, really? <laughs> um, talk about cutting to the chase. Honestly, I was more curious about who, uh, King Tojo got wasted by! <laughs> see this i really want to see fute fight moten again I, I i need that like so bad i need to see fute fight moten that rematch has to happen there are three options available to us the first to surrender and submit ourselves to the punishments that come the second to continue running away as um have done so far and lastly to fight our way into Kantan and slay the new king and his little pet kakukai and uh, place kasama on the throne yes we got round two of the, uh, coup de tot. Yeah! Eh? He wants to lay siege to Cantan. Is this guy for real? Alternatively, we could change this third option slightly. And instead of calling for Kasama once Cantan has fallen, we simply have Robokasama to be the one to usher in a new dynasty. Huh? That is enough, Shinsuichu. I like that plan. I like both that those plans to be on those third op the, actually that would be more of a do what about the fourth option about just saying you know what we could do the um enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing and do the temporary alliance and get them and you know destroy them fuckers and ally ourselves with the uh, uh with osin get that shit done you know make a tr make a temporary truce or maybe you know make a, uh, be willing to, you know, come to an agreement with, the uh, um, with Say. Something li on the lines of that. That's what I said last week. That's what I would, I, that's honestly what I would do. Even if we bring, um, even if we were to bring down, uh, Canton and place Kasama on the throne, his rule would be marred by the use of force. Anyone who stoops to such measures would never be truly accepted as the king, uh, as king of Zhao. Much less for it uh, to be at the hands of someone like me. See, Revoku knows. Nor have I ever uh, held such intentions in the first place. 
Yes, sir, my apologies. So what's the plan in the end? Even if we surrender, it's not like they're, they'll let us see, um, let us live to see another day anyway. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm quite fond of my head. <laughs> I love Fute so much. So I guess running away is our only choice. We will run, but not because it is the last uh, option available to us, Fute. If Zhao is to have any hopes of avoiding her impending fate of ruin and defeating Ken, then she will have need of us and our abilities. Until the day comes when I am able to regain uh, command of the Zhao military, we will lay low. You sure that day will come? Aye, it will. Do you really think they'll be able to hold back Ken's advance without Roboku-sama's help? Oh, them sneaky fucks. Again! We... It's not going to be direct. It's going to be indirect of the ally, uh, the friend of my friend, or the, uh, what are you, so shit. The enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. It's not, it's not going to be as direct as I thought it was going to be, but still same principle. Still same words, holy shit, still same concept. Um, I'll give them one year before Kakukai comes crawling back to us, assuming he's not a complete moron anyway. <laughs> he is a complete moron, though. Our recent actions still lie within a blank period of time before the new king is officially crowned. There's more than enough leeway for them to brush aside our clashes as misunderstandings, should the need arise. So we just need to keep stalling for time to allow Kin to run amok, then, um, uh, then hope for, uh, so, oh, worry, so, so we just need to keep stalling for time to allow Kin to run amok, then hope for everyone back in Canton to start having second thoughts. Of course, we'll be contacting various figures behind the scenes during uh, this time as well. Oh, and we have them. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, we still need a place to lie low during all of this. The city's under our siege. Um, oh, worry, slightly shit. The city's under um, our sway have already been surrounded. As it happens, there's one place I wish to visit. Uh, where? The city, uh, the city under um, Shiba Show's uh, rule, Seika. Woo! Shiba Show, the man who stopped Ordo in his tracks? And also a candidate to be uh, one of the three great heavens. Ooh, I see. We're going to have a good fight on our hands. He seems to be a man who cares little for the squabbles of the state. But will he still be willing to take us in? I already, I have already received his acknowledgement. Then, um, then we go to Seika, all of us. Um, so long as I'm with roboku I don't care where. <laughs> you, you never cease to amaze me, roboku -sama. Now you've roped, um, even roped in uh, Seika Shiba, uh, Shiba Um, you're, go you're going all in on this, aren't you? You won't be satisfied just with them allowing you back into the capital. The day we return to Canton, we will come back stronger than we've ever been before. Exactly so. We will bide our time and rebuild our strength. With, uh, when the hour of our return comes, it shall be at the head of an army far greater than our current number. Yes, sir. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So two, um, 236 BC, though Kin had snatched uh, Giao from Zhao, they were unable to make any further inroads into Zhao territory. Uh, despite Roboku no longer managing Zhao's strategy, Kantan wasted no time in carrying out precise and effective measures to strengthen the area's defenses, mobilizing the mighty Kantan army, which had not set a single foot outside the capital during King Tojo's reign. They were able to strengthen the front lines together with General Kochao's army. But that was not all Zhao. Uh, that, but, I'm wearing slow shit. But that was not all. Uh, Zhao then turned their attention to the cities of Hango and Heo behind the front lines, um, uh, sw uh, behind the front lines, swiftly fortifying and transforming them into military strongholds. Both Zhao uh, bureaucrats and military military officers alike were shocked at the efficiency and confidence shown by Kakukai in ordering these measures. Incredible as always. Unknown to them, all of these actions stem from the pieces of advice that Roboku had bade Kakukai to pass on uh, during his time in Kantan, Kantan's prison. That sneaky fuck. See, Kakukai is a sneaky little bastard. Wow, it snowed. It finally started snowing. And as time passed and the calendar moved towards two, into two, uh, 35 BC, this year would see would see China engulfed in an unexpected war between three states, but before that would first, uh, before that, um, would first come a certain event that took place in Kin, one large enough that would, um, even be recorded in the, uh, recorded in the Shiji. 
We're not making any progress uh, on the Zhao front lines, and they're also still strengthening Hiao in the back. Why hasn't Osen considered a, um, a force breakthrough? The problem is that Zhao General Coach Hao is proving to be even more formidable than we expected. Doesn't the key to punching uh, through them lie with Ryo, uh, Ryoyu's uh, Yotama army? Should we have um, Should we have them? You're late, Master Shi. Hmm? What is the matter, um, Mr. Shi? Sire. Forgive my impertinence, but could I ask your majesty to accompany me outside for a moment? Why are you here, too? Hmm. If you want me to leave, then give me a reason. If it's just you, then it should be fine. It's just I'd rather, um, uh, Shoei-kun and Rishi not be privy to this information, uh, privy to this moment. Shoei-kun and Rishi? Something you don't want them to know? Is it about, uh, Kanan? Yes, sir. Yes, sire. By Kanan, do you mean... Riofui, what? What? Do you mean to say that Riofui appears to be plotting something once again? No, or at least we haven't seen anything concrete as of yet. However, it has reached a point where we can't, where we can't ignore it no longer. What do you mean? As you know, Riofui was stripped of his rank due uh, to his manipulation of the uh, Ruai incident three years ago, and was then forced into retirement at the city of Kanan. Except these- oh no, except the last three years we have seen men once again gathering under his banner. Um, their numbers have swelled to a point where they can even rival the royal court. Wait, what? Has Ryo uh, Fui been actively recruiting them? Unfortunately, we don't have any information as, as to that. Much of our intelligence on the matter still remains rather messy. But what we can be sure of is that the flow of people towards Kanan has been um, uh, unceasing. Those that have journeyed to Kanan have also um, included the remnants of Master Ketsu... Uh, of mis we're in of the ma uh, Mr. Ketsu faction that we were not able to recruit, as well as the remnants of the state of Ai. And of course... Um, uh, the uh, Riofui faction's own remnants. In other words, those misfits and leftovers from uh, the other factions that were never integrated into His Majesty's cohort and it spent, instead spent their days sulking and skulking in the shadows have now all amassed under Riofui in staggering numbers. Uh oh. Uh oh, that is no good. What? But, but, but that's the truth is for a while now we've been focusing efforts on stemming their growth behind the scenes but their momentum can no longer be stopped the time has come to cut them down straight at their root holy shit the timing of this chapter oh my god the timing of this chapter what do you mean by that mr she rio fui must die you want to kill rio fui your Majesty, I understand. I understand your concerns, Mister Shi. But I first wish to meet with him. Um, I wish to meet him once more, huh? So that I might look him in the eye, and talk to him once again. The oh man, that son of a bitch! The snow this year simply won't stop falling. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. Man. Shit has gotten interesting, especially with the timing of this chapter. Ooh, we got rise and factions happening again. And, and, and I gotta say, what Hara is doing is very interesting. Because just as, you know, Roboku is going into hiding and waiting for his time to rise again, and in a way, it's kind of similar to what we had in the beginning of the manga with Say. We have this shit happening with Rio Fui. And this is like the result of everything that, uh, this is like, I think, we, there's like a lot of parallels going on with Roboku and Rio Fui, in a way. There is. But Rio Fui is, oh, this is going to be very interesting to see what goes down. But man, I don't know if Say could, Say's words are going to be enough to persuade Riofui. We got to nip that motherfucker in the butt. I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if talking no jutsu is going to work. I don't know on this one. But man, you see what I mean? How uh, you you remember what I said at the beginning of this chapter? And fuck, I even said it uh, la um, last week. Is Kakukai is the one really running the show in Zhao. He is. And that stinky little bitch is, uh, um, is 
it, he was sneaky and wrote down everything that uh, Roboku said in prison on what to do. And I think what he did, that's why, that's, Akakukai is a sneaky ass little bitch. So what he did was once uh, Roboku, like, you know, uh, what, you know, did, uh, he had enough information on what to do uh, from Roboku, but, you know, fulfilled his usefulness. He was just like, you know what? We're done with you, Roboku. We can go on with our plans. I'm telling you, Kakukai, based on especially what Fute said this uh, this chapter, oh, you best believe that Kakukai was the one uh, that killed um, Tojo. Oh, for sure. Kakukai was definitely, definitely the one that uh, that got the hose to kill uh kill Tosho. Oh, yeah, this was, this is definitely all under Kakukai's plan. Because, like, for a minute, because, like, initially you would think, okay, maybe someone in Roboku's crew was the one that, um, that killed, uh, um, killed Tojo. But no, no, it was definitely Kakukai. Oh, Kakukai did this shit. He did. This chapter really confirmed it for me. And also, god damn it, I love fucking Fute so much. Holy shit, I love Fute. God damn it. But, um, man. Woo, shit is getting very interesting on the kin front. I can't wait to see what Say's going to say. But I'm very curious what you guys mean, um, what you guys think the symbolism of the candle means. If you guys think that the flame of the candle and also the the length of that candle is symbolism, um, and also I feel like it's more symbolizing um, based on this chapter. I thought it was going to be more symbolizing um, Zhao than Roboku at first, or, or like I was starting to think that, but um, I'm I'm going back to what I initially thought, which was. Um, and not, this is why I should never second guess. I got to stop second guessing myself. And it definitely symbolizing Roboku because notice how the flame in the uh, flame last chapter, it was kind of like, like dimming and like how this chapter after uh, the, at the start of this chapter, how it was starting to like become a little brighter. Yeah. After that, uh, that hug from, uh, um, that cane it, from Kane and that uh, that flame became brighter. Yeah, that that def that candle was definitely symbolizing Roboku. But yeah, Roboku is gonna come back stronger than before. Oh shit, you best believe. But um, shit is going to be very interesting here. I wonder if with in the I wonder what Say is thinking in terms of uh, Riafui. In this, in this situation, why he wants to talk to Riafui instead of nipping him in the butt is because he wants to make an alliance with him and get and see, and, and, um, because I think he kind of sees Riafui in a similar way to he, how he sees Roboku. And he's like, okay, you know what? We could probably make use of this motherfucker. And, you know, and we could probably work, because he, he kind of maybe has a similar mind as Roboku. Or maybe as more, maybe similar as, actually, you know what? I think he maybe sees him as a similar mind as uh, Kakukai. Because, let's be real, he has a, this, he has a similar mindset as Kakukai. And shit, so, uh, Kakukai slash Roboku. We could use that shit to our advantage, figure out what the fuck we're going to do in regards to um, uh, how to deal with Kakukai and shit, and go forward from there. That's what I'm guessing. I think that's what uh, that's what's happening is we're gonna figure out how he's gonna use Riafui to figure out how we're gonna deal with Zhao. That's what my guess is. I'm very curious uh, what you guys think in regards to why um, what Riafui's use is going to be, and what do you guys think of the situation in um, in Z uh, with Roboku as a whole? Do you guys agree with me that this is like? an indirect version of the enemy of, um, my enemy is my friend kind of approach that Vogue is just going to wait until, um, Kin does their shit. And then after that, just go, uh, just do their thing. And that's what I think. And I, I swear to God, I, oh, I swear. Hard, right, you better give me a rematch of Fute versus Moten at, at some point. 
I need that shit in my life. I swear to God. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more kingdom greatness. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Purchase something on my Amazon wish list all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigan's, I will be seeing you later.